I want to talk today about growing your herb in uh, pots. I actually prefer growing them in pots. Uh, like this right here is some uh, oregano, and I just planted some thyme. But what I do is I I get these uh, you know a nice big pot. This pot right here is probably about uh, a foot and a half wide by eight inches, eight ten. Well, about twelve, about a foot deep. So you want a pot this size, you want to, you know, have plenty of room for the plant to grow and expand. I won't put two, no, no more than two plants in this pot. And I usually put two plants per pot. Uh, right here, I have two two different type of oreganos. So it helps me to put similar, similar uh, herbs in one pot. So what I do is I just get regular uh, topsoil uh, or the uh, compost. Uh, you know at your box store and then I mix it with a little bit of peat moss so I mix about 75 25 75 top, uh, with the uh, uh, compost topsoil and 25 percent 25 30 percent of the peat moss so I like to use a dry peat moss into the wet uh, damp compost it just makes it mix up a lot easier so I'm gonna mix this in real well um, that peat moss just aerates that compost and gives it more of a a, so, a soily feel and a peat moss is very good for the root system so i'll be right back with you oh yeah i gotta have my oregano planted like i've stated i got one variety on this side this is the italian oregano and then i got the greek oregano on this side so they should grow fine together and they should be coming out of the pot in the next couple of weeks or months and uh, this is some thyme that I planted this is a Greek thyme and then it's another variety called a uh, see this is a English thyme and when they smell so good but they'll grow fine in these pots together um, by being in a large pot like this like I said you want to have at least a foot and a half two foot pot you want to have plenty of room to grow you want to have uh, Plenty of room for depth for the root system to grow and get that warmth like they were if they were in the ground. Uh, if you notice, I didn't fill my pots all the way up. I left about six inches from the top. One thing that'll do that'll save you on soil and compost. Um, and compost and soil is getting there real expensive nowadays, so it'll save you on that, and also it'll help keep protect that root system um, when it start to cool off. When the weather starts to cool off, you know, to give them a little bit of extra protection. So. Um, that's, that works out fine. Here is some mint that I got growing. And it's been in here for, it was just a little plant that I planted. And it, in about, uh, it's been here about a month. So it's growing all out of the pot. And that's kind of what you want your herbs to wind up doing. You want to plant them a little low in the pot, and then you want them to kind of grow up out of the pot. And here I just planted some basil. It's been in here for about two weeks. And the basil is starting to sprout out at the top. And I got some dill right here. And the dill is starting to sprout out new sprouts. And like I say, two herbs per plant, per pot. And, uh, you know, it gets a good op opportunity to get, let them grow in a weed-free environment. Uh, you can control the moisture. You can always come by and, you know, keep them, keep the resist the, uh, soil moist uh you can fertilize them so you got a little more control environment and uh, like i stated you can uh also easily bring them inside during the winter months for shelter so but anyway i hope this encourages you to grow some some uh, herbs and pots thanks for watching